Oh my God, another video on how to install Bootstrap on Ruby on Rails, just why? Well, technology has evolved. And when Ruby on Rails 6 was released that uses Yon and Webpacker, the way you install Bootstrap has changed. And also recently when Bootstrap 5 was released that does not use jQuery, the way you install Bootstrap on Ruby on Rails 6 has changed. So Bootstrap 4 uses jQuery and Bootstrap 5 doesn't. And now we are going to install Bootstrap 5 on Ruby on Rails 6. So at the moment, I've got already a small application running right here, and it's just using Rails 6. And as you see, I've got my own style sheets. Now I can see them in our app, assets, style sheets, and I'm just going to delete my own style sheet folder, this one. Like this, I will refresh, and you see I've got just a basic Ruby on Rails 6 application running. And now we are going to install Bootstrap on it. So we are going to go to the Bootstrap documentation and go to download. Now, as we are using Ruby on Rails 6, we are going to go to the Yarn package manager and type Yarn add bootstrap. Okay, Yarn add bootstrap. And actually, we need to add not only bootstrap via Yarn, but also we need to add this at popgs slash core. This is also important. Now, we are going to type Yarn add at popgs slash core, not just popgs, but at popgs slash core. This is actually important. Okay, and now previously we served uh, all our uh, style sheets through our assets folder, but now we're going to uh, serve them via Webpacker and they're gonna go through our JavaScript folder. So here we're going to create a new folder inside JavaScript named uh, style sheets. We'll type make directory app slash JavaScript slash style sheets. And inside this folder, we are going to create a file. So echo app JavaScript style sheet slash application dot scss. And if we go here, we will see that we've created a new folder and a new file that is empty application scss. Okay, looks cool. Now we'll also need to tell our application HTML ERB, our layout that we're going to use our uh, style sheet pack tag like this. And we'll actually need to require this application SCSS inside our application JS. So we will say import uh, style sheets slash application. Now let's just see if it works. If we are serving this application SCSS, let's refresh. So it is compiling and let's try to add some kind of basic CSS here. Let's add, for example, a background color. We'll say body background color will be uh, Azure, for example. Okay, let's see if uh, it gets served. So now the application has been recompiled and you see the color has changed. Okay, and now we will actually add the, the style sheets for our bootstrap. Now, if we go back to our yarn package, we'll see, we can have a look at the yarn package itself. And here is the yarn package. Again, it says only yarn at bootstrap and we will go and browse the files. So if we go to browse files, we see we've got a few folders and in this we have CSS that has a lot of separate CSS and one CSS where everything is combined, bootstrap CSS and something similar with this JS. We've got Bootstrap JS, so we are going to import them both inside our application JS. Let's type import bootstrap slash dist slash CSS or slash first JS slash bootstrap. And the same for slash CSS. And let's see if it works. So I'm going to refresh the page. And you see the styles have changed. So now I'm using the bootstrap styles. Let's actually ensure that we are using bootstrap. Let's add some kind of bootstrap element. I'll go to docs. Let's add something like, uh, like a button just to see if it works. I'll take a button and add it somewhere, let's say in application HTML. And you see all the buttons are available. 
So bootstrap works. Now, another way to actually add these uh, bootstrap JS and CSS would be to do it like this. I will comment this out now, and we will say just import bootstrap inside our application JS and going into application SCSS, we would type at import bootstrap and importantly, we should close it like this. Otherwise it might not work. So once again, I'm going to try to see if it works. And it works. Now I will try to do it without this closing column. And you see, it doesn't work. And importantly, somebody can want to totally remove StyleSheets application CSS, but if you deploy to Heroku, for example, without StyleSheets application CSS, it might not work. So that's basically it. You see, it's not so hard to install uh, Bootstrap 5, and it should be actually easier than installing Bootstrap 4 because you don't have uh, to also install jQuery. And again, we're serving all our assets all our style sheets through our JavaScript, through Webpacker. And what have we done? We've run yarn add bootstrap, yarn add popgs score. Inside our application JS, we've required bootstrap. We've required style sheets application. In style sheets application, we've imported bootstrap. And also here you can import all the CSS you like. And in application HTML, we've required the style sheet tag tag application. And that's it. Thanks for being with me.